Before we get into this video, we recommend speaking with your dermatologist if you want to begin a new topical treatment. This video does not serve as medical advice. Did you know that we begin to see the first signs of aging in our skin? This is seen through wrinkles and fine lines. But is there a product out there that can actually reverse these effects? Even if there isn't, the global anti-aging market was worth 42.51 billion USD in 2020. This is why we must look into the science behind this market. Before we get into this, let's talk a little bit about the skin. Our skin actually has multiple layers, like lasagna. In this video, we'll be focusing on the epidermis, the outermost layer. The epidermis constantly renews itself in a process called epidermal cell turnover. This is how we replace cells that flake off. When we expose our skin to the sunlight, it becomes darker or hyperpigmented. This is to protect us from the sun's UV rays. The skin also has several important proteins and compounds. First up is collagen, which provides structural support to the skin. The next is elastin, another protein which provides elasticity and support in our skin. Lastly, we have GAGs, or glycosaminoglycans. These compounds hold onto water and hydrate and support our skin structure. You've probably heard of hyaluronic acid, the most simple GAG. Okay, but why is this all relevant to aging and what happens to our skin as we age? Well, skin aging is a complex process. It involves multiple factors that accumulate to create alterations in each skin layer and change skin appearance, especially in sun-exposed areas. In fact, exposure to UV radiation accounts for about 80% of facial aging. So remember to use your sunscreen every day to prevent this. But what causes those ever so dreaded wrinkles? Well, as we age, our skin produces less collagen and elastin, leading to wrinkles and skin sagging. The epidermis becomes thinner, resulting in a translucent look. Hyaluronic acid content in our skin also decreases significantly with age, leading to dryness and fine lines. At the biological level, reactive oxygen species, or ROS, which are unstable and highly reactive oxygen molecules, accumulate as we age. ROS are produced naturally in our body, and you've probably heard of antioxidants. Their role is to help neutralize these ROS. If we don't have enough antioxidants, ROS buildup can accelerate aging. Now, let's jump into examining the three different active ingredients we're going to explore and look at the science behind them. Up first, we have retinoids. Retinoids are natural or synthetic forms of vitamin A. There are actually several types of retinoids out there. But let's talk more about what they can do for your skin. Firstly, retinoids can penetrate the epidermis, which means they can reach viable layers of our skin. Retinoids decrease fine lines and wrinkles by increasing the epidermis's capacity to hold water through stimulating production of GAGs. They also stimulate collagen production. This is through transforming growth factors, which are any proteins that stimulate the growth of specific tissues. Lastly, retinoids may also prevent the degradation of the epidermis by stopping the breakdown of collagen. Retinoids can also help regulate our genes to promote epidermal cell turnover, helping with the roughness and texture in the skin. But there are very few studies about over-the-counter retinoids that show improvement, unlike prescription products. However, anecdotal evidence shows consumers are satisfied with these products. One study showed that topical retinol at 0.4% concentration improved wrinkles by stimulating collagen and GAG production in the elderly after 24 weeks of use. Retinaldehyde, a form of retinoid, seems to be the most effective over-the-counter retinoids from the limited data that we do have. So, if you're going to try retinoids out, speak to your dermatologist and ask whether prescription retinoids are the right fit for your skin. Next up, we'll be talking about niacinamide. This is a form of vitamin B3, but let's dive into the science. Firstly, niacinamide has been proven to penetrate the epidermis. Next, many studies have shown that niacinamide creams are effective at anti-aging. However, the way niacinamide does this is not fully understood. This anti-aging effect actually depends on the dose of niacinamide in the topical product. For example, one study examined 51 white females with photodamaged skin and the effect of applying 5% niacinamide to half the face for 12 weeks. They found that this improved the skin's appearance in many ways, such as reductions in fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, red blotches, skin sallowness, and skin elasticity. Thus, niacinamide is effective as an anti-aging topical product and there's enough evidence to back it up. Finally, we'll talk about a very popular ingredient, green tea. But before you put those tea bags on your face, let's take a look at the evidence. 
The active ingredient in green tea is polyphenols, also known as catechins. The main catechin in green tea is called epigallocatechin 3 gallate or EGCG. Now that you have some background, let's examine the science. Green tea polyphenols are actually really unstable and their chemical properties make it difficult for them to penetrate the epidermis. They may also have strong antioxidant activity, anti-inflammatory and collagen synthesis effects and may help protect against UV. One study found that applied topical green tea with a concentration of 1-10% to 10%, 30 minutes before exposure to UV rays reduced the number of sunburnt cells by two-thirds. In fact, EGCG is one of the most efficient compounds at suppressing redness and irritation induced by UV exposure, and as you will recall, UV damage is a major contributor to skin aging. I know what you're thinking. Green tea sounds great. However, clinical studies generally don't show improvements in aging with topical green tea application. One study showed no significant improvement in women using green tea products over another generic cream. Maybe green tea can prevent the signs of skin aging versus actually reversing them. Overall, we need to remain skeptical about the anti-aging effects of green tea. All in all, what's trendy may not always be what's best. We've explored only three of the most popular ingredients in the anti-aging market, but there are more out there. Of the three ingredients discussed, niacinamide and prescription retinoids seem to have the most evidence backing up their efficacy at anti-aging. If you're interested in learning more about the ingredients, check out the references in our video description. And before trying a new supposedly magical product, do your research. Everyone's skin is different. As always, speak to your dermatologist prior to starting a new skincare regimen.